Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we're having a problem uploading our big video for our Mud Boss. Sorry about the big mess on the table back there. We're kind of doing a little bit of cleanup. Um, so while we're trying to get that figured out, we're just uploading a short video this week. It's just on replacing your shock oil. Um, nothing big. You know, if you don't already know how to do it, hopefully this video will help out. So take a few minutes, give her a watch. Thanks so much. So here you go. Here's your spring. First thing you're going to do, take this little hex bolt, unscrew it so we can get this spring retentioner out of the way. Set that aside. Now you'll be able to pull up on your spring, hold nice and tight, and that little retentioner, you'll be able to kind of push up and pop it right off. Then your spring will just slide right off. Set that stuff aside. Next, we're gonna be able to take this cap, hold on real tight, put in your screwdriver, and spin it free. So when you're done, here's what you have. You have the shock body, the little screw, there's the spring retentioner, and then of course the cap from the top. And don't forget, inside, you've got that little blue seal. Make sure it stays there, or you're gonna be leaking all over. So make sure you take this body, clean it all out nicely. When you're letting the oil drain, make sure you push this in and out, in and out, and that's gonna release all that Traxxas oil so you can put in the new stuff. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our 20 weight oil from Traxxas. We're gonna fill this up almost to the top. There we are. Then the next thing we're gonna do is just hold up and down. We're gonna push this spring in a little bit and pull it back down. Hopefully you can see those bubbles there appearing. The lighter the oil, the faster the bubbles come to the top, the heavier the oil, the slower they come to the top. So just remember that. So you're gonna wanna do this a few times, cycle it through, get all those bubbles out because any bubbles means resistance. So once you've got all those bubbles out, you're gonna wanna add a few more drops and get it right up to the top. And it's gonna be hard to show you on the camera, but it's gonna have a really nice concave look to it. Now it's gonna leave just a little bit of room for that seal. So once again, make sure your shaft is all the way down, filled all the way to the top. Make sure your seal is still in place. Put it back on nicely. Don't want to cross thread. And then spin that thing on. You might lose a little bit of oil. That's okay. And there we have it. Back together in one piece. So grab yourself a cloth or a paper towel. Clean this thing up. That way it's not all slipping and sliding, and we'll put it back together. So the next thing you can do, once you've got this shock all filled up and ready to go, take your spring, slide it back in place, then you'll be able to take this retentioner, once again, holding up on this spring, you'll be able to slide it back in place, making sure that the holes line up so you can get your little screw back in. There we go, we have it in place. Take your little screw, put her back in, and tighten it down. And there you have it, a nice new oil-filled shock. As you can see, it compresses down nicely all the way. Don't have to worry about it. So thanks so much for watching. We'll be back again next week with a nice big long video. It's gonna be on our Mud Boss, full setup video. So make sure you stay tuned for it. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. So ring that bell so that way you get all the notifications for when the new videos come out. If you have any comments on things you'd like to see on our channel, drop them down in the comments. And if you could give us a big thumbs up, it helps us out a ton. So thanks so much. We'll see you again next week.